At the Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center, or NSRDEC, we are the science behind the soldier. We create innovative technologies that make our soldiers safer and improve their quality of life. We research and develop protective clothing, shelters, and advanced aerial delivery and food technologies. Here, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, known as STEM, come to life and work to protect and enhance the performance of our nation's warfighters. The NSRDEC is home to numerous, unique, world-class facilities. These facilities include the Dorio Climatic Chamber, where researchers can replicate worldwide weather conditions to test soldier performance and soldier equipment under extreme weather conditions. The NSRDEC is also home to the three-dimensional anthropometric laboratory, the cognitive performance laboratory, the Willette Thermal Test Facility, and the Biomechanics Laboratory, just to name a few. Through STEM, the NSRDEC hopes to inspire the great leaders and problem solvers of tomorrow. Our goal is to foster interest in STEM and a lifelong interest in learning, as well as inform students about possible careers. To achieve these goals, we offer tours and interactive demonstrations. We support science and career fairs by providing mentors to students and judges for events. And we help students come up with solutions to solve real world problems. For example, we supported the Natick High School's Inven team through mentoring and product design reviews of the development of an underwater submersible search and rescue robot that was featured at the annual White House Science Fair competition. Uh, when they're not busy building life-saving robots, they're also uh, establishing an all-girls robotics team. And uh, one is about to graduate, the other is a junior. They're already helping other young women get involved in science and technology, engineering and math, and we are very, very proud of them. So uh, give them a big round of applause. As stated earlier, the NSRDEC is focused on the science behind the soldier. Our greatest achievements in this mission critical function have been made possible because of the scientists and engineers behind the science. Let's hear from just a few of our scientists and engineers about the important work they do for the NSRDEC and how a STEM education has made that possible. Hi, I'm Megan O'Donovan. I'm a biomechanics research engineer. I'm Quinton McAdams. Uh, I'm the Science and Technology Strategic Integration Lead for the Expeditionary Basing and Collective Protection Directorate. Hi, my name is uh, Brian Scott. I'm a Staff Sergeant in the United States Army Reserve. Full-time, I'm an employee of the Department of Defense Combat Feeding Directorate. My favorite part of my job is actually working directly with soldiers. Here at NSRDEC, we have dedicated soldiers who come in and help us with our research. So when we design for them, they're right there, um, and we get to work directly with them. So I really like that part. My favorite part of this job is seeing both ends of the spectrum from the civilian side and the soldier side, um, seeing the research and development as the civilian and then being the end user as the soldier, um, eating the rations that are developed here, using the heating technology to prepare those rations, and not just the rations but other things that are developed here like the uniform and the protective equipment like body armor. Um, I really enjoy the opportunity of kind of every day I have the ability to work uh, on different things with different people, uh, all for the same common goal. I think STEM's important because it opens up uh, a multitude of lanes professionally. Um, you can go into education, engineering, manufacturing, um, pretty much anything you want. Um, within my job it's very important because it ensures that the items that we're developing for the warfighter um, give us the advantage on the battlefield. You know, a lot of times kids are intimidated or scared by the concept of engineering because they think to themselves, I can't design a cell phone or I can't design a computer or a piece of equipment. But the truth is, no one's going to ask you to design something by yourself. Engineering is part of a team. You're, you're asked to work and design as a team. And so just because you think, oh, I'm, I'm not as good at math, maybe you're better at writing or, or maybe you're better at visual design. Um, as a team, you all come together and work together to make something. So you shouldn't be afraid to pursue engineering or math or science because you think you're not good at it, because you might be good at something else that's just as important. These are a few examples of the work done here at the NSR Day. Let's work together to inspire tomorrow's leaders because our mission is too important not to.